Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course I'm Clayton Schick and somebody want to be a little bit more enthusiastic, enthusiastic about this? And this is the outdoors. What's going on, everybody? It's 5.30 in the morning. It does not look like it in this camera lens at all, but it's early. I tried to get away from all the buildings before I started to talk. My boat's in the water. I'm ready to go. It's time to go fishing. I think this is day six or seven of the walleye wars. We've got to catch a 30 and three quarters to take the lead right now. Matt Paul has put up a big one. I've been informed to top Ryan Montgomery who was leading at one point. It's pretty cool just to watch and follow everything and see who's leading and all that fun stuff, but yeah, another day in the walleye wars, baby. Let's do it. Well, yeah, on the water. You know it's early when I can see the screen glow off my face from the hummingbirds right now. It's pretty crazy. It's actually 4.30 in Saskatchewan time, so that's early for me, like early, early, early. I'm obviously up at Caribou Lodge Outfitters in Cranberry Porridge still. It is the end of July, and you know what's crazy? Norm told me that he hardly has any bookings in August because everybody thinks that the fishing is slow. I'm catching 40 to 60 walleye a day. It's not slow. And the average size is really good. So think about that for a second. You just gotta find them. We'll talk about a little bit about that today, about what to look for and how to find them and all that fun stuff, but we gotta go fishing. We gotta go. Let's go that way. It's still kind of dark out with sunglasses. Not gonna lie, it feels like it's like like dark, like the end of the night. It really does. Okay, main focus today is really going to be sharp shooting, finding individual marks and see what we can uh, come up with. You can never go wrong with islands, points, anything like that. There's always gonna be structure off of land somewhere. Some might be bad and you have to keep going, going also you're like, oh, well that's interesting. There's like a little underwater point that sticks out or something like that you can find. But starting on like islands and that kind of stuff is a great tip if you're coming up here. We're gonna be looking hard today. Lots of individual marks, hopefully. Gonna be, if it stays like a nice chop like this, I'm probably gonna fish pretty aggressive. Not that I won't pull out a jig and a leech or a drop shot with a green worm again, something like that. We're gonna switch it up, but I'm going. Today's the day, I can feel it. Today is the day. Wind blown too, like always check wind blown shoreline for walleye. From now till the end of August, they're gonna be anywhere between like 10 to 25, 30 feet for the most part, where they're eating anyway. These, these walleye will suspend out a little bit deeper and they'll come into the shallower stuff to feed. Oh, there's a couple marks straight there down at, at uh, right on that, the edge. You can see here, like those edges like that are really key I find here. Sharp, sharp drop-offs. The walleye seem to just kind of hang right on the top of them. Lots of baits, look at all the bait now. That's pushed up against here. But that, oh, I had had a fish. That was a fish. There's a there's that little bit of a drop off and there's a fish right there. Here we go. Nice. Pretty much right where those, those first set of marks were. Smaller though. This is a smaller fish. This is not what we were after today at all. I'd be a nice eater. Where are you like the last couple of days when we were having fish fries, hmm? Where were you? First one, small though, an eater, about 17 incher. Chicken wraps, hyper rattles, that style of bait in amongst rocks. Can be a very expensive day. I'm gonna throw on a jig and a leech for a second here. Just cause I need to retie a hyper rattle. That's a, that's a bad start. One fish, one hyper rattle down. Oof, oof. It happens though, it happens. Sometimes I can go days or hours without losing one and then all of a sudden I can lose four like in an hour. Oh, I was just gonna mess with my sensitivity a little bit because the water's pretty clear and I could turn it up a bit here. And I uh, 
caught a fish right away on the jig in the minute. Did not take long at all. And these fish pull. These fish pull. Nice walleye. Nice dark golden walleye. Look how dark and beautiful these fish are. Like they're so dark, they're so awesome. Oof, that's the one I want right there. This is the mark I need, I think. That's the, I think I just caught that mark. It does not feel that big though. Oh no, that mark's still down there. I got a different fish, look that other, bigger mark's still down there, no. Oh, well, it's still a nice fish, but that other mark was way bigger. Way bigger. That other mark was way bigger than this. We need to get back down there. That's definitely one of the bigger marks I've marked in the whole time I've been here. A smaller fish got to it first. Oh, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Oh, it's coming down. I think it's coming down anyway. I just got bit. Just as I was gonna drop my jig a little bit, I just got bit. Is this the mark? No, the mark is still down there. Oh, that's twice now. It's still a nice fish, but that's twice. A bigger mark It's just eluding me. It's just eluding me another quality fish I wonder if I get maybe the hyper rattle out for that mark but I've, I've been hunting that one mark pretty hard I've seen them like three times it's twice now a 25 incher has uh, got me before that mark there's no doubt it's it's definitely bigger oh just bumped it they are so docile today. It's crazy. They're not like just committing. It's, it's a tougher bite right now. Look at me complain. Walleye like nine or 10. It's a tougher bite, Clayton. You're doing so, so crappy. There's days where I'd kill to catch 10 walleye. Especially all this caliber. Oh, that was a harder bite. That was a harder bite. Maybe they're gonna turn on a little bit or maybe I just gotta find where, they, where they're where they eating, right? It's still stacked up down there. Come here, buddy. Come here. Nice. A little bit better fish. Like a 21 incher. Start with a hyper rattle. We made her. Big water, big winds, big fish, right? If I don't catch this mark here, I'm gonna switch to a jig and a leech or a jig and a minnow or something like that because I've had a couple marks and I can't get them to eat the hyper rattle right now. Trump right by that fish. Nice, okay. Finally hooked into a fish here. It's been about 15, 20 minutes since I got to the new spot and this is the first fish. Does not feel big. It's a little guy. Be a good eater. Let's try jigging a minnow for a bit. Getting the odd fish to follow me, but still gotta find the right bait right now. Nice. 
jigging the minnow and caught one instantly. So maybe the minnow is going to be the ticket today. Maybe the minnow will be the ticket. Feels decent too. Doesn't feel giant, but it's definitely, it's definitely controlling me a little bit. Probably the biggest one of the day. Where are you, buddy? Ooh. It's nice. I'm gonna net him, I think. I'm gonna net this one. I need to get my net in a better angle spot anyway. Oh yeah, net's hooked. That would have been bad if that was a big one. Okay, well, the jig in the minnow was, worked really quick. I tried hyper rattle, jig and leech, and I got one on the jig and leech, but they're pretty tentative, and literally I had the jig and the minnow out for about 30 seconds and scored a nice fish, so maybe that'll be the ticket. You know, I said I switched lakes. Look at the difference of color from these walleye, from the walleye that I was catching earlier in the day. And that's like the, one of the best parts about being able to switch lakes like that, that fast. There's first cranberry, second cranberry, third cranberry, Simon House, Elbow Lake, that you can all get to with your boat. So it's like, if the bite's not happening in one spot, it's so easy to move. Let's let the slaughter begin. Catching a couple, but not what we're after yet. We're right on the edge of this rock cliff here. Some nice ones too, I think. Nice. Feels nice. Feels really good. Uh, now I'm not sure. Now I'm not sure. It's always hard to tell, especially in the wind. And these fish up here just fight so aggressive. I don't think it's that big. It's not tiny though, that's for sure. It's not tiny. It's a good one. I'm gonna net this one. It's a good one. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Come on. Come on. Nice. That's actually one of my better fish in the last little bit for sure. Awesome. I'm going to get my trolling motor down actually in spot lock here because I think I'm going to fish this area a little bit more. It's 27 and a half. I just measured it so it would be my biggest fish for the derby, but I'm not going to take a picture with it because it's so rough right now. I don't want to mess around with her. If we get a, a big one, we'll measure it. But this fish, this fish won't collect me any any money. Well, we found a nice fish anyway. Now we got to catch its older sister. Nice. We found fish. I'll explain what and how what i got going on here a little bit i might even drop the, uh, the aqua view down at some point too but we found we found fish and i think it's just going to keep stacking up in here i really do another nice fish not as big as the last one but beautiful fish 20 24 ish probably finding them baby we're finding them yeah here's what i got I'm trying to talk Trying to talk with the wind, out of the wind here. But here's what I got going on, and I'll overlay some of the clips of what I was driving around here, what I found. I'm sitting like 18, 20 feet right now. It keeps changing here a little bit. But just a few feet over here, I got a 12 foot rock cliff. 
comes like straight down. I was going over with the big motors driving all of a sudden I was like, oh, I was like, I'm marking fish down there. So I turn and I fish it and if I could get the right angle and stay exactly where I needed to be with the big motor, I'd catch a fish. Now I think I got spot locked in the right area and I've also noticed too, that if I fish my jig and minnow a little bit more aggressively than what I'm used to, almost like I'm snap jigging it, that's actually caught me most of the fish so far too in a little bit. So, so right now I'm getting pushed back with a heavy gust of wind all of a sudden, I'm getting pushed back on that rock cliff. So hopefully my spot lock will take me back to where I need to be, but it's like a transition here or a highway and they're literally just cruising right tight to that, that face. So hopefully, hopefully we can catch a big one yet before I get blown out of here because it's starting to get pretty windy. Oh, slip beautiful this one feels pretty good i can't see me moving for a while this one feels good like i can't tell it stopped me in my tracks for a second they all feel good right it's just another quality fish not giant jeez can't believe how well these fish fight okay well nightcrawler it's working. Just put it on. Caught a fish instant. Switched over to the night crawler for a bit and caught two pretty quick. I love fishing in this weather. I hate filming in this weather. I just need the right fish. Just eat the right fish. I'm impressed. My trolling motor got me all the way back to where I spot locked. I was way up there because the huge gust of wind came and it pushed me back there and the trolling motor worked its way all the way back up here. I'm impressed. Pulled out the hyper rattle for a bit and got a fish to go. I just keep changing baits and just keep catching fish. It's crazy how every fish wants something different. There's, look at, see, look how steep it is. Oh, I'm up against the, the camera's up against that rock right now. It's hard to see. The visibility isn't that good, but you can see the giant rock wall here. And that's right there. Look at, I'm pulling up. That's how high it is. It's super high. And those walleye are stacked up against there for sure. They're not right here because I'm a little bit, now I got them closer to the wall. They're not quite here. I like to find a couple of walleye out on camera if I can. There, look at that. They're coming right up to the camera and they're coming to check the camera out. Jeez. Well, we're back in the room. As you can see, I'm not fishing anymore. I had a storm roll in, believe it or not. And uh, we had to get home, got home, dried off, but I made her home before it got too crazy. It's been thunder and lightning out here like crazy. This view off the deck at the lodge is so awesome. So I'm also sad to say that this will be my last kick at the cat at the walleye wars. I have some motor issues going on with my tilt and trim. I think it's a trim relay, I think. I was coming home and I was like trimming up and I just wanted to keep going up and I had to keep pressing the button or hold it down to get it to stop. And eventually I got it to click off, but yeah, I'm having a malfunction. I can't afford to be somewhere out on the lake and get stranded like that. So I'm going to go home, get everything fixed and get back out there again. So no smallies right now, no pike right now, which is two things I had on the list. I had another like four or five days here for sure yet after the tournament where I was gonna do all that stuff. So. We're gonna go home, get it fixed. We can get back up here to do the smallies, the largies. Remember though, if you are coming up here, clean your boats. This is real zebra mussels. Don't bring this stuff up here. Clean your boats, get it checked at one of their AIS, uh, I think it's AIS, invasive species, wash, wash stations, especially if you're coming from a, a contaminated body of water like Lake Winnipeg, right? You know that area? Yeah, they have a website here, zebramusclepreventioncom I'll put the link in the description below, but this is, this, uh, they run, I believe these guys are right out of Cranberry Portage here. Stop zebra mussels. We don't need them. Don't need them up here. It's uh, obviously a growing 
concern and it's something we definitely need to I keep stop because my mic cord gets stuck on, stuck on a chair it's something we need to take serious other than that thank you so much to norm i had an unbelievable stay once again i love this place There's so many different off uh different lakes i think i fished 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 four different lakes while i was here for walleye i crushed almost 400 walleye in my six days of fishing it was insane walleye fishing is just getting good too august is where this place really fires up if you ask me so i'm gonna come back not sure when yet but he's got some availability in august so book a trip now thank you so much for watching the walleye war, walleye war series i didn't win right now matt paul looks to be in the lead with a 30 and three quarter inch fish we'll see if he holds it to the end so thank you so much for watching and don't forget Get outside.